Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Mori's Plays Let's Play of Fay Farm. We're playing the Nintendo Switch version, of course, and today we're just kind of continuing the story. I believe we're still in kind of the tutorial mode. We're on, I don't even know, we're on day 10 now, episode 6. Um, and we're just going to jump straight in, water our crops. We're probably going to be able to harvest some today and plant some more, no doubt. But we do have some quests and tasks to do at the top there. We have to craft and place a stone forge, uh, which I believe is how we can utilize various gems and rocks and things that we find and turn them into other things. And then of course we need to upgrade some of our tools and it starts with the pickaxe, I believe. I'm sure we could do all of them though. Uh, but the quest is just full of pickaxe. Oh, we're out of water. <laughs> Happened so quickly. Um, but much like we had to craft that thing there, you can see this futuristic looking thing. Actually, is there some stuff to collect? Uh, yes, there is some stuff to collect. There we go. So we've got some copper seals. Oh, our backpack is full. Okay, well, do you know what? We'll finish watering these and then we'll empty our backpack. <laughs> then we'll collect the copper seals. Those are used to uh, close the doors in the dungeon. Uh, or the mine, should I say. They call it a dungeon, but it's like a mine where you can go and harvest gems and find some like crystals and rocks and things like that. Uh, but kind of the next quest for us, I suppose the quests do act as part of like a tutorial, especially at the start. It's kind of getting you used to all the different mechanics. Um, and we've got to recreate a, or craft something similar to this, but for stone forging. So it seems in this game, uh, something that I actually kind of like is... Instead of having a universal crafting bench, everything appears to have, like, it needs its own type of crafting bench. So you'll get one for, like, food and drink. We've got one for cooking, which is essentially, like, a campfire. We've got one for um, the copper seals. And then we're about to make one for a, called a stone forge, which I'm assuming is one to craft. I could be wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm just assuming here it's for crafting various stones and uh, things like that. Uh, wait, why can't I? Oh, I planted a seed. <laughs> I wondered what happened there. We must have had an empty uh, plot. But yeah, it's awfully quiet. It's probably my biggest complaint. Actually, one of my only complaints. I'm really enjoying this game, actually. Uh, but one of my only complaints is it's not even a complaint i just wish there was some more background music it's very quiet but maybe that's part of the cozy environment and maybe it just seems like it because i'm talking and it seems a bit weird because there's nothing else going on you can hear some environmental sounds and some sound effects but i do like having the music i didn't realize how much i like background music until we don't have it um right i'm gonna throw everything into our storage pretty much uh, we can more or less grab it all anyway. We don't need the potions yet, so we're going to get rid of those. And that, and that. Okay, so do you know what? I'm going to move these back over. How many of those have we got? Oh, we can filter as well. Cool. Okay, so alphabetical order is probably the best. Because then it should put things next to each other. Like, all the turnips would go together and, and things like that. So I'm going to throw one of these back in there. There we go. Okay, I think we're good. Cool, we have some space. Let's uh, collect our things. You can leave things crafting. They take a little while. So you can leave things crafting, um, and then just leave them at the crafting station. Oh, we've unlocked another another two. A hammered copper seal. And an iron ore. Oh, a strong seal that activates a teleporter in a dungeon. A seal that activates a teleporter in a dungeon. A seal that activates a teleporter. What's the difference? I'm sure they have different things. A strong seal. Mate, do the seals break eventually? Hmm. Okay, we need to have a look at what we need to craft here. So, best thing to do is I've noticed some things don't appear in the build menu when you're inside our house. 
So it's best to open it outside. Oh, wow, that's super cool. A stone forge. So, oh, we've got plenty. <gasps> Look at this. We're building like a mad science lab. That's so cool. I like this. This one to me is a little bit futuristic for, for our little homestead, but this is really cool. Right, so we need to, what can we craft here? We need to craft some copper ingot, stone bricks, and we're going to use these to build things. What's this? Glass! We can make glass! Okay, so I guess we'll just start with one of the. Let's do, can we do three? No, we don't want to waste too much of us. Actually, do you know what? Let's do, yeah, let's do three. I feel like that way we can use one potentially, have a couple in storage for later. Um... Except we've just spent most of our coal resources. Um, but this is cool. Is this going to be for paths, I think? Maybe. Look at it go. It's doing its thing. It's very cool. We'll have to think about redecorating. I need to move this thing. It's pretty hideous. It doesn't go with the, the farm vibes that we're creating here. Probably should fill our watering can up while we wait. Uh, upgrade at least one copper pickaxe. So we need, yeah, we. So we, I think we need to take at least one of these copper ingot things with us. So while it's doing that, I think I might just harvest some resources while it's uh, making those. Most of this, I think, comes back. I'm not sure. I think probably the the weeds and the plants do. I'm not sure about the rocks though. Oh, we need to check on our apple tree as well, actually. Oh, look at it. It's growing. <laughs> there we go. Just collect these. We can never have enough resources. Oh, actually, we need to... We mustn't forget about our chiku as well. We should need to go and probably feed that. And pet it and let it out for some fresh air. I imagine it's gone in the little barn by itself. You can't beat the animations of this game as well. It's very, uh, very cool. So yeah, I, I don't know. I, do, I am really liking this game. I don't know what it is about it. Maybe it's because we're taking it slow or I don't know. There's definitely something about it that is... It's relating to me a bit more than some of the other farming games that are out there. Oh, we have an egg! Yay! Okay, do we need some more? No, you still got your food. Hmm. There we go. We'll bring you outside because I think you need some fresh air as well. And we could probably buy more animals as well at some point. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself though. I think maybe... Um... I think maybe the quest will be like, now it's time to buy a cow. So I'm sure at some point we'll buy a cow. Right, can we move this stuff? This we get, We're looking a bit, little bit cluttered here, aren't we? So, um, can we move it? Where should we move this to? Far away. Can we put it in the corner somewhere? Let's just put it here for now. <laughs> it's huge. Can we move this? Oh, we can't move because it's cooking, probably. Okay, let's move our... It's really cool moving things as well. Very clever. Where can we put our little campfire? I don't think we can put it up here, can we? No. So just down here. Oops. Um... There we go. That's quite a good little spot. Start spreading things out a little bit. This, on the other hand, is pretty cool. So we can collect those. And now we should be able to move it. There we go. I like this. This is a nice thing. I think we should probably find another area for it. Where can we put this? 
Um, how far in the corner can we get it? Do you know what? Let's just put it there. Again, we could always move it. That's kind of cute. Because eventually this whole entire area is going to be covered in farmland, I think. So, well, we could have put it here, actually. Oh, well, we can move it later if we need to. Right, I think we can harvest some stuff as well. Oh, no, we can't. Um, we, must be a, we must be a day away from harvesting things. Um, right, so what are we doing? We're going to go and see Cinder. I think that's all we need to do on the farm today, anyway. For now. Yeah, the space jump is weird. I call it the space jump or the moon jump. There we go. It's already evening. Hey. Cinder, hi. I love watching the blossoming... Oh, what is, what's my chicky doing? Uh, blossoming trees in spring. Uh, open shop. So we need a pickaxe. Um, 100 florins and one copper ingot. I hope I'm pronouncing that word right. Your tool was upgraded. Okay, can we upgrade some of the others then? Wow, so what do we need for the next one? Two iron. Oh, so it goes just kind of normal, or I guess maybe stick, copper, iron, uh, ferrite, silver, original slum. <laughs> Uh, cal, cal, is that calcium? A rich, I don't know how to pronounce that. And then gold. Appears to be the same for all. I'm going to have to Google how you pronounce that before we get there. Um, so what do we use the most? I feel like the watering can, I'm interested to see. Oh, there it goes. It says the watering can reinforced with copper to hold more water. Okay. I was hoping it was going to water more area. But maybe the next one does. A watering can reinforces iron to help you recharge your watering. Press and hold Y to use its special ability to water a small area. Okay. Um, we might as well do... I think the axe is probably the next thing we use the most. So we'll do that. We haven't got any more copper. Um... Yep, so we need more copper to get the last two tools. So we'll have to go and do some mining as well. Uh, return to Cleo for rewards. Where's Cleo? Um, so part of this game is just finding everybody. Well, Cleo was in the, up here last time, I think. Not today. In the town centre? Nope. Down by the docks. It looks like we can travel to someone specific as well to, if we see a quest. There's Cleo. Um, in, oh, in the east part of town. Okay. We know roughly where that is. Lots of bugs around today as well. Oh, we're going the wrong way. Oh, wait. Are, you, are they inside? I don't think we've been in here yet. Oh, we did come in here, actually, didn't we? What are you doing in here? Hi! Hey, howdy, Memory. Now, don't you just look like an eager explorer? Yeah, we got our upgraded tool. Thank you for the push in the right direction. Ah, the copper is binding, uh, blinding me. Just kidding. As you find more minerals, you'll be able to further upgrade your tools. I knew you were a good egg. Memory, the thrill of discovery is in your blood. So you've upgraded your pickaxe one step of the way. That's working smarter, not harder. But there's something else about upgrading tools that you should know about. Some metals on Azoria become infused with wild magic that is spread over the island. Oh no, it's nothing bad. Quite the opposite. See, tools made with those metals have magic in them. And the ma that magic can get your dumb job done even easier. And wouldn't you know it? Iron is a magical metal along with silver and gold and it's found in saltwater mines just a bit further down. How about you get an iron pickaxe and try using its magical ability to break up some rocks. Oh, so we're, we're having to go more into the upgrading of tools for a kind of a quest. 
We don't have to follow it. We could go and find someone else to do a different quest, I think. Um, but we, we've got... There's no, I'm in no rush, really, so we don't have to do that. Um, let's see. What have we got here? We've got lots of little notifications. That's the one we're doing. These are all of our stuff. Wow, there's a lot here. These are all things that we've kind of unlocked. Oh, I didn't realize we'd unlocked more. Cozy nighttime outfit. <laughs> didn't realize we'd unlocked more stuff. Okay. Some things, I don't know where we would go to get them. I'm sure they're in shops and things. What's magic? Oh. How do we upgrade our magic wand or staff? Anyway. We may as well head to the mine because we need to check out this uh, these copper seals. So we'll do that. Uh, actually, we need to get some sand as well, don't we? Always good to have sand on us because we do at some point need to get some more plots, some more seeds going. Looks like our Chiku has uh, got all the fresh air it needs. We haven't got long left of the day, actually, so it's probably not worth going into the mine right now. So maybe we'll just collect some resources off the beach instead, and then we'll go in the morning, which will be in probably, like, five minutes. We'll, uh, we'll go into the mine in the morning. I like the way everyone's just going about their daily routine as well. Oh, backpack is full. We need to upgrade our backpack. That's the one thing we haven't really been able to discover. A rocking chair. Cool. How do we upgrade our backpack? Uh, sell flower seeds to brighten your farm. Spring is the best time of year. It feels like everything in nature is coming back to life. Oh, we wanted to buy some flowers. I saw the paths are clear again. Thanks for that. What have we got here? Tulip, lilies, and roses. Okay, they're all the same price. Let's start with some... Roses. Do you know what? Oh, we don't have any room in our backpack. I really need to find out how to upgrade our backpack. Someone must know how to do it. These are all seeds. This is for our home. This is for... What's this one for again? I think... Oh, yeah. This is just some... Comfy creations. Someone must know how to do our thing. Oh, so we have to... Oh, we can't buy the hats yet. Or some of the hats. An eye patch. <laughs> oh, what are these for? A ladder. Wall scroll. Oh, uh, here we go. Inventory upgrade one. And that's just, oh, that's just a bag. Okay, so. You now have more space in your inventory. Finally. How much space? <gasps> Another row. So we can do two more rows, it looks like. Guy, so that's where you upgrade your bag. Did the game tell us that? I don't think it did. <gasps> 2,500 we need for the next upgrade. Um, I'm just going to sell some stuff that we found on the farm for the sake of selling stuff today. It's something I always recommend. Try to sell something at least every day. Oh, I'm stuck. Even if it's just something small. Um, like these we can get plenty of from the beach and that, so. Uh, 
I know it's better to cook them, but it's going to be nearly the end of the day soon. So, right, let's head back, Chiku. We need to get you and your pen, I think. I mean, you will go back by yourself, but... I wonder whether we should... Do some more of these. Right, how wide are these? So one, two, three, one, two, three. So I'm gonna do two more of these. Oh, we're out of, oh no, we're out of beach logs. Right, Chiku, you're gonna to have to go inside because you keep getting in my way. <laughs> So from the tree, I don't want to cut the big trees down. Just another day on the farm. Because I quite like to have all this stuff, you know. All these trees. I don't want to get rid of it all. But we need it. There must be another way to source wood. Right, I'm going to go there, so then we can go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, because I'm going to do all the vegetables in blocks of nine. Oh, we're out already. What are we out of now? Silt! We run out of things pretty quickly. We probably need to spend a day just harvesting food. Uh, food? I mean resources. Because there's not much more silt here. We need to find another place for silt. I think on the beach and in the mines, we can get some. There we go. Yeah, I don't want to cut down the trees, but we, I mean, we can plant some more trees. Um, but I really like having all this stuff here. I like the, like the wild look of it. The overgrown wild look. But we need the resources. We, we're out again, aren't we? Of We need more silt. Oh, well, we'll have to finish building that tomorrow then. There's a new type of fish. Um... Oh no, we didn't get to catch it. <laughs> We've come to the conclusion that when a fish has that gold shine on it, it's probably a fish you haven't caught yet. That's the only thing I can think, because when we did get one, it was just a normal fish. Um, okay, so we got a little bit of money from the market. Okay, we also could need to decorate our house at some point as well, but we're straight into the next day. This is how quick this game goes. Um, and there's nothing you can do about the time. It's not really a big deal because we just we're playing again now So it doesn't really matter um, But it does mean stuff gets to grow um, How much water is this gonna hold Let's see it Seems to be going down at the same rate <laughs> Maybe it's a little bit longer Right, we've just got to harvest these. But yeah, I actually quite like the in-game clock. It's not a big deal. It pauses sometimes as well. Which helps. But we really need to... I'm hoping one of the watering cans like, will water a huge square. Because if we cover this entire farmland... It will take a day just to water everything. Ooh. 
You do have to be careful. I accidentally planted some seeds just then. Um, because I, I was kind of just pressing A, and I watered, then I harvested, then I planted when I wasn't even really paying attention. <laughs> so most of this stuff, I'm sure we could cook and sell. There we go. It kind of, instead of going to the next one, it kind of, it pings to the, the thing ready to harvest, which is kind of good for harvesting. Right, is that all that needs harvesting? The beans aren't ready to harvest yet. Okay, I'm going to leave them for now because I want to build more and then uh, get everything in, in the right areas. Okay, let's have a think here. So we've got some cauliflower. So this is ready to sell or eat. Let's see if we can cook it into something as well. And then we'll head down to the mines, I think. Uh, oh, grilled veggies. Um... There we go. So I'm just going to cook everything. Because then it'll be... It'll either be more energy or it'll be something that we can sell. Okay. Um, so we can collect some stuff already. We'll leave that... We'll leave that cooking. Right, let's head down to... The, oh, this is a nice little area. We'll head down to the mines before we forget. What's here? Oh, it's just a seat. I thought it was another shop. Oh, are these are these new? Were they here already? Can we sneak over here? Oh! That's what I was afraid would happen. <laughs> okay, where's the mine? Here it is. So I think we have to just seal it one room at a time. So we'll just seal the first room. Oh, it's already sealed. Right, we also... Is there sand in here? We need some silt as well. We have to... In here, in case you missed the previous episodes, when you come into the mine, it's kind of randomized rooms with resources in, so you can just mine all kinds of resources and materials. And you can shut the door behind you, but in order to get to the next room, you need to find a switch. And it could be under any of these, uh, any of these rocks. So we just have to keep, keep, oh, the room's already open, actually. Is that because we sealed the door, maybe? We've got all day though, and we've got some stuff on us to get more energy, I hope. I imagine a shovel upgraded will do this quicker for the same amount of resources as well. Um, let's see, have we got enough? Oh yeah, we've got plenty of things on us for energy. Oh yeah, we needed coal as well, so it'll be worth 
doing that. But yeah, this is kind of... I feel like this is where we're at now. Um, I, right, we sealed that room we just came from. So next time we come in here, we'll come into this next level. Um, and as the deeper you get, the better and more resources there are. So that's the idea. Quite a cool mechanic. Not something I've ever really thought we'd need. Is this silt? No, this is clay. Oh, there is some silt in here. That's good news. Okay, let's see what we've got. Do you know what? I'm going to eat these instead. Because those berries are really easy to come by. Um. I can never tell if this is sand or silt or clay. But we'll get them all anyway because they're useful for building on our farm. No crystals in here. The door... Oh, the door is open again. They must be open from when we did it last time. I thought they shut again. Right, we'll go into the next room. We've got one more seal on us, so we'll seal this door. Um, so then, the, kind of, We're on level 3 now, so I think it means we come in to level 3 each time. And here we go. We've got some better crystals and stuff already which is good copper ore oh we need some iron don't we that's what we're looking for coal oh we're out of uh, things I didn't really want to I wanted to sell a bunch of this stuff um We'll just get a couple more crystals then, and then we'll head to the market square to sell some bits and pieces. Okay, this is open as well. They must have stayed open from when we were in here last time. Right, let's head to the market square. I don't think we'll need any more energy for, like, just walking around. Uh, so this should take us straight out now, hopefully. Very clever as well, putting these bouncy mushrooms everywhere. <laughs> oh, here's some, uh... Silt. Okay, so this is some of the stuff that we harvested and cooked. Um, ooh, the copper ore is probably more valuable if we craft it into that next stage first. Um, right, okay, so let's see. Have we got any? Have we unlocked any more seeds? No, not yet. Uh, after, how do we, oh, farming level 10. So we, we definitely need to get um, some more farming done. To up our level. Um, this is ready. There we go. So that's a lot of stuff. We could go and sell some more. Because we want the money from it. We can re-harvest it again and again. 
as long as we plant them. We have to make sure that the seeds aren't more valuable than the product we're selling, actually. <laughs> um. There we go. Going to make use of this. I think we'll keep a couple on us. I'm going to go and empty some of the stuff we've got into our storage, I think. Mostly the materials. Because they take up space and we don't really need them in our pockets. Um, the rest is... Just energy. There we go. So this is as big as I want it. Nine by nine at the moment. I think the next one I'm going to start building like here. Um, and maybe like when we can craft some furniture and stuff, we can do some things, add some things outside. An animal lure. Oh, cool. So some fences. Oh, cool. A clay pot. Uh, a wizard mob. Do not leave alone. If animated. Oh, that's scary. What can these baskets be used for? A planter that grows wild on another island. Let's put a picnic basket here. Why not? Uh, let the neighbors think you bought something fancy. Okay, let's put, let's let the neighbors think we bought something fancy. Where can we put this? Let's put it near our thing. There we go. It's quite cool. Um, oh, I don't think we can rotate. Oh, we can rotate it. It just looks the same. Okay, cool. <laughs> Oh yeah, we don't have any more energy. Sometimes we can find wild energy. No, I fell down. Okay, I think it's time to head back for the day anyway. We can end things early. Um, should we put something in our stone forge overnight? The best time to craft things is overnight. Because then when you wake up the next morning, it, they're instantly done. So let's craft. Oh, we can only craft two. Oh, because they're ten pieces of copper each time. Um, okay, so let's craft. Couple of stones, a couple of bricks, and a couple of glass. There we go. So we're going to get stuff running for the entire time overnight as well. Let's do an extra... Oh, no, because we've got only got five iron ores. So we don't want to craft... No, we'll save our iron ores. 
Okay. We could always decorate our house as well, but I think we'll save that for another day. Because I'm having fun on the farm at the moment. But we can also go to sleep as well a couple of hours early. Get an early night. Which is pretty fun. Um, so we made a total of 350 on the market. Which is pretty cool. And we're jumping into the, the other day. So, oh, it's raining. It's, I look cold. <laughs> maybe we should stay inside. And does that mean it's, well, maybe that means it's watering. We should probably investigate this, actually. It's probably watering our farm for us. I didn't know it could rain. That's cool. Hey, it watered everything. And we can harvest a bunch of stuff. So the rain has watered our stuff for us. Oh, the beans still aren't ready. <gasps> oh, that's so... So nice, the thunder and lightning. Ooh, it's super cozy. Does this mean, do we need to go and get a jacket or something? Our health doesn't seem to be going down. Can we craft some clothing? Let's go and have a look and see what everyone's doing in town. Excuse me. That was a hiccup, by the way. <laughs> Can we get some clothing? We need a, a jacket. Um, we've got a hat. Maybe a hat would just be good to keep the rain off of us. I don't know if we can buy. How do we change our clothes again? can't remember how to change our clothes. Oh, there we go. Edit outfit. It's in the inventory. There we go. Um, there we go. We've got a nice beekeeper's hat, I think it is. Wings! Yeah, I, our player's not liking the weather too much. If nothing else today, we're just going to um, try and make some money. Then we're going to fill this market area. There we go. It's very cozy. There must be a way of getting like an umbrella or something. Oh, we should have crafted some more seals, shouldn't we? But since we're already down here, we might as well go into the mine and get some of the things we can today and keep out of the rain. Because we need some more copper and some more iron. Whoa! There we go. Get out of the rain. Whoo! <laughs> That's really cozy though. I don't mind walking around in the rain. I like the sound effects of the thunder and lightning. Level one. Yeah. 
Oh, uh, does that does it does the seal just keep the door open then? That's weird. I thought you came straight into the next level. There we go. We're only after silt and the more rarer metals and stuff. See, level three, I thought we'd come straight into here, but... I'm sure we could just sell all this stuff as well. It doesn't even matter. So this should take us to level four. Bit confu that's confused me that has. What's the point in sealing it then? It must mean to seal the door open, maybe. There we go. Oh yeah, that must be the case. It says there, uncover the switch to unlock the door or place a dungeon seal in the teleporter. Or maybe we have to go into the teleporter. Oh, there's sa silt and sand and clay in this one. Oh, we found <laughs> we found the 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 button. Oh, we've got some enemies in here, which is a nice little touch. There we go. Just harvesting all the ones that look like they're, uh, you know, the better materials. energy here so I guess it's a good tip to take away from this is if you're planning on harvesting stuff just go straight to the mine at the start of the day don't use energy like harvesting or planting or anything because you're gonna need the entire energy bar just to get a day's worth of materials Probably going to have to plant, start planting trees as well, I think, to get even more wood. So maybe we could buy some saplings. There you go, just eating an egg. <laughs> Yummy. But this is definitely, this is the definition of a cozy game. It's just, there's no pressure to do the quests you're given. You can take a week just grinding for resources if you want. Ah, I got stuck on a rock. They actually don't hurt you that bad. I'm guessing the stuff gets much, uh, like, the further in you get, the enemies probably get a lot worse. And more, like, powerful, I mean. Because these ones, you can take a few hits, it doesn't really do anything.
Definitely worth grabbing these crystals. There we go, eating a turnip. I don't think we've got many left. As you can see, we're quite far in now, so there's a lot more resources down here, like valuable ones. I keep <laughs> I keep forgetting to swap uh, tool. Oh, there's the switch. We should have brought some seals. I think we're almost out of energy reviving uh, food. But yeah, like I'm, I'm sure most people spend an awful lot of time in these mines. So hopefully you like watching <laughs> the grind for materials. Yeah, we're out of energy stuff. So we're on our last tiny bit of energy, but we need to go and buy some seeds anyway before the day is over. Doesn't seem to use any energy to defeat the uh, enemies. Our magic staff. Oh, we're out of energy. No. There we go. Make the most of it while we can. Might as well pick up the muscles. Oh, we can eat the muscles. That's cool. I suppose it makes sense to keep the doors open. Um, cause then you could go back like, cause coal is more common at the start of the cave, for example. So if you want coal, you don't want to seal off the door and not be able to get it, I suppose. Let's go in the previous room then. Oh, actually I think it's gonna take us out, isn't it? Yeah, that's fine. Let's go to the market and see if we can buy some seeds. I like this little shortcut. <laughs> it's very peaceful. So we can buy some trees from Willow. Just normal beech or oak. Let's buy three of each. Because I imagine they take quite a while to grow. So we'll go and plant them straight away. Um... So where do we want some beech trees? Oh, they have to have two spaces in between, okay. Uh, beech trees, let's plant the oak trees near the entrance then. Um, there we 
go. And hopefully they'll grow nice and big and strong. And hopefully we'll get some more wood from them. Okay, how's our chiku doing today? We definitely want to keep an eye on our animals as well. Because we might be some... Yes, there's some more eggs. Oh, our chiku is asleep. There we go. At least we got an egg. I think we'll finish the day by just chucking some stuff in our storage. We don't need to water anything, thankfully. Uh, but all the materials can... Go away. Right. Let's go and collect everything. From yesterday. This is what we left overnight. I like that we've got a crafting station in kind of each corner. Right, let's craft some more seals. We'll take five with us. We'll let those be crafting. Uh, I don't know if we need any more copper ore, but it might be worth doing it to sell. Cook our egg as well. Okay, there we go. I think that's all we really need to do today. Um, there we go. So, yeah. I think my player wants to get inside in the dry. So, um, instead of wasting any more energy, we've done pretty much all we need to do for our daily routine, I think. Um, and we'll get on to our chores probably in the next episode. The, the quests, I mean. Uh, to get a magical tool and do some more harvesting and stuff and, and, and continue to expand our farm. So I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. It's really, really cozy. It's really, it's just chill. Um, it's super laid back. I love the way it doesn't shove too much in your face at once. And also it's kind of optional as well. You can do what you want. You, we don't have to even do the magic tool quest. We could just keep farming if we want and earn all the money and level up our farming. Uh, so I really like that aspect of it. I, I just wish there's a bit more background music, but I like it when it's raining. It's really cool. So that definitely adds another level of uh, atmosphere to it. But there we go. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, of course, to the channel members. Let me know what you think of this as well. If you're enjoying this Let's Play or if you'd like to see a different Let's Play, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. And I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.